Hey friends, welcome to Travel Related. People are always hating on technology. They say we rely too much on it, it's taking us out of the present, which may very well be true, but let's get real. When it comes to traveling and going to another country, technology can make our lives so much easier and more enjoyable. My brother and I are constantly finding new things to improve our travel experiences, and we wanted to share them with you. So we thought it would be helpful to start a series and tell you all about our top travel apps. I actually have an entire folder of travel apps that I use and love, but I'm gonna pick a couple of my favorites and Trey's gonna pick a couple of his. We wanna keep you updated about what we're using and what we think is gonna make your trip awesome. But before we do that, go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't already and click that little bell so you can be notified when we upload new videos. Did you do it? Okay, good. Now let's get to our top travel apps. The first app I wanna mention isn't a new one, but it's one I use all the time. It's Google Maps. I love using Google Maps to save locations, either someplace new that I wanna go in the future or someplace I've already been that I wanna get back to, like the place where I'm staying. Now you can set a specific destination and it'll give you directions, but I use it all the time if I'm in a new neighborhood and I just wanna make sure that I'm going in the right general direction. For example, in Thailand, there's lots of dead end streets in many of the neighborhoods. So often I'll pull out my phone and check Google Maps to make sure I'm not on a dead end street. It also gives you distance and an estimated time of arrival of where you're going. I have a terrible sense of direction, so I would literally be lost without it. You've probably used Google Maps a million times, but I just wanted to mention it because it has so many useful features when you're traveling. So keep it in mind on your next trip. The next app I wanna to talk to you about is called Trail Wallet. It's a simple, easy to use travel budget and expense tracker. With this app, you can set your budget by either the month or the trip. Then it breaks it down into your daily budget and shows you how much you've used and how much you have left to go. Entering in your expenses is also really easy. You can either just type them in or scan a receipt. One thing I really like about it is you can enter your expenses in the local currency and it'll convert it to your home currency. You can also select a category for your expenses, so then the app will break down all your expenses into an easy to read pie chart, and you can see where all your money's going. It's a cool new app that I'm really excited about. This app is designed for travel, but honestly, you can use it anywhere. You could start using it right now. If you're wanting to track your budget while you travel, you should definitely check this app out. Okay, one of my favorite apps in my entire travel folder has to be Hostel World. I use this app both when planning my trip and when on my trip. If you don't know much about hostels or how to choose the best one, Trey and I made a video about it. We'll link it here so you can check it out after this video. So all you do after downloading the app is go and type whatever city you're thinking about traveling to. Once you do that, all of the available hostels will pop up on your screen. So in this app, you can see thousands of reviews, you can see ratings on cleanliness, activities. My favorite part is you can see pictures of the hostels. I wanna know exactly where I'm gonna be staying and you can scroll through, you can see the common rooms, the kitchen, the beds, the lockers, anything that you're concerned about. There are definitely filters you can use to narrow down your search. For me, I like to stay in a hostel that is 8.0 and above. There's a ranking system from one to 10. And from my experiences, anything in the eight and above range is gonna be a good hostel. You obviously wanna get the best available, but if you stay in an 8.0 or 8.1, it's normally not gonna be a bad hostel. Another big one for me that I talk about in our video about how to choose the best hostels is how close to the center of town the hostel is. The Hostel World app has it pop up right on the picture exactly how many miles your hostel is from the center of town. It's extremely informative and I highly recommend you download it. And the other app I chose is called Seat Guru. I am obsessed with Seat Guru. I have been telling my friends and family about this app for years. Obviously a huge part of traveling is the flights you're taking. And if you're anything like me, you like to be as comfortable as possible. Some of these flights could be eight, 10, 12, 15 hours. So it matters what seat you get on a flight. 
What's so great about this app is you can type your flight number and the exact layout of your plane is gonna come up on the screen. It's gonna show you how big the plane is, where the seats are, there are photos on there so you can see exactly what the plane looks like. Once again, I like to know what I'm getting myself into when it comes to things like hostels and flights, and this app helps me do that. I can see where my seat is, what it'll look like, how big it is. My favorite part about this app is how it shows you if the seat you were thinking about choosing is good or bad. If it's bad, it'll be red. A seat could be red for things like there's less leg room than others or you're too close to the bathroom. Or a seat might be green for things like more leg room. When I booked my first international flight, I went into Seat Guru to check out the seat that I was thinking about, and it was actually red. It turns out that this particular seat did not have a window. And while that's normally not a huge deal, this was my first time out of the country and I wanted to see where I was flying into. And if I hadn't gotten on Seat Guru, I wouldn't have known about it until I boarded that flight. So after seeing that, I chose the row behind it and I got to see Ireland out the window as I was landing and it was beautiful. This app is awesome. It'll show you everything you wanna know about the plane and help you choose a seat so you can be as comfortable as possible. So that does it for part one of our top travel app series. In today's modern world, we have so many available resources right at our fingertips. We're making it a point to find apps that we love and use, and we want everybody else to know about them too. Today's travel related question is, do you have a really useful travel app that you want other people to know about? If so, put it in the comments below and maybe we can use it in a future video in this series. We want your adventures to be just as incredible as ours. For more travel related content, be sure to hit subscribe and give the video a like. Trey and I are blood related. But we can all be travel related. See ya. Bye guys.